Hide and drink. No, this isn't the weekend yet, but instead a wallet brand, which in this case is an ETC pocket zipper wallet. Stewie, you're drunk. Oh, this is, oh, Brian's all serious. Hide and drink. Here we go. Zipper wallet. It's a malt mahogany color. And if we take a look here, we do have some good stitching kind of going on here. At least we've got some overstitch areas on stress points. That's a good thing to see. This is a YKK. Let's open that up. A little rough. I mean, kind of showing you the whole thing right here, but there is more to it. On the exterior, we have two EDC slots right here, one and two. Uh, perfect for small flashlights, knives, multi-purpose tools, etc. And as mentioned, we have a YKK zipper here for the main zipper compartment, which if we look interior, uh, no organization slots in here, uh, dividers or anything else, just one big pouch. So really cards, cash folded, uh, coins, air tags, keys, pens, lighters, whatever would fit in here. And uh, from what I understand from people who own this, that really it can handle a lot. It does stretch. It is a, kind of a nice, nice looking leather. It measures 4.75 by 3.75 by 0.5. And it weighs 46 grams or 1.6 ounces. So how does it smell? Well, <laughs> it's okay, but let's see what it can hold. Designed and made in Guatemala. You know, I saw I got six cards and some cash in there. I got a, a little micro pen, which by the way I sell, and I'll put the link in there uh, below. And uh, you know, an air tag that I tucked right down here in this corner, as well as a Benchmade knife and an Olight. Uh, not a bad little package. Hide and Drink is a vertically integrated community-based brand that really supports local communities in Guatemala. And they, all these are designed, sourced, and manufactured by local craftsmen. And so it benefits the residents. They're able to sell it to a larger market. And it's just really a nice thing. Uh, now, what you'd expect is, you know, that this would be poor quality. It's not. It's actually very good quality. Very has a slight waxy feel to the exterior, but it's really not distracting. It is mach machine stitched, and as we showed you earlier, it is double stitched in all the right places. And again, using high quality materials like this YKK zipper, uh, it's just really quite nice. And you can't beat the price for $23. That's uh, really a great price for this. The zipper, however, is not very smooth. You have to work this over time, and I've been doing that a little bit, and it does get better. Uh, but it is YKK, so it'll blend just fine. And I wish the opening was a little bit bigger. I wish it came down here a little further so you could have a, a, a broader access point to get in here and dig some things out if you needed it. And with these two EDC points here on one side, it would have been great if you could have a quick access card slot right here. Then you don't have to open this up every single time to get cards out. A very affordable EDC wallet, and it's one customers really tend to like. So, now on to the final score. For quality of three, still really good. Price of four, great price for what you get here. Features of three. If there were internal organizer dividers or a quick access card slot, I think that would really wrap this up and it would be a, you know, a four or better. The external EDC slots are great, but they could really have been taken a little further in the exterior. Usability of three, it's workable, but the zipper could have been a little bit better, a little wider, and perception of four. The co-op they've created around this to bring small makers into a larger market is really quite cool. And that gives us a final score of 3.4 out of five. If you like this review, then watch this one next. And we'll see you in the next review. Bye.